Hello friends, welcome to this final video of the Python calculator series. In this video, I will show you how you can compile the Python code to an executable file. And also, we'll see how many other options we have to start the Python application. So first, we, we can start the Python application from the IDE. Right now, I'm using PyCharm. And here is my main code, uh, calculator.py. To start that, what I can use, I can right click and run the calculator and it will run the application for me and I can use this application straightforward directly from this uh, IDE. Okay, the second option what I have is you can directly go to the folder where that uh, calculator is and you can see the main file, the calculator.py, you can double click on that. But make sure you should have Python installed in your system and also the py extension should directly go to your python location otherwise you will not be able to start this application okay so still you can see that you, you are able to uh, start that application without the ide also but let's say if you don't have any python installed in your system or you are actually supplying or deploy this application to multiple machines where there is no python available and that time you need to compile that into a one uh, piece of exe that include the python or the required library which is required to run this application okay so how we can do that there is a multiple way in python to do that there are uh, py installer there is uh, py2 exe i prefer py2 exe so in this video i will show you how i can uh, use uh, py2 exe to convert the python code to a executable file in Windows okay so before you create any executable file you need to create a setup.py file that is actually required for the py2exe in that setup.gui file you need to add the information about the exe I'll show you what is that and once you're done with that setup.py file then you need to create a exe and this exe is nothing just you can go to your python and just tell okay this is the uh, setup.py file and pass one argument value that is py2exe and that will create the python code to an executable file okay now let's just see what is this setup.gui file so as you can see that first thing what you have to do is like import all the libraries all the uh, files which you actually used for your application so with that the py2exe will understand okay these are the library which um, we need to compile for the application and the second thing is like uh, you need to append the path of your uh, microsoft uh, sys path windows library this is required for the um, uh, windows compilation okay but uh, uh, for linux it's different and it's also depend on your system so basically you can you can just check out in this folder up to this folder and uh, for windows 7 this might be different i'm using windows 10 so this is something else and also you can exclude the libraries and also uh, then go back to the setup function where actually uh, you can provide the name of your application for me it's like python calculator the version the description author and as you can see all these arguments here which is like um, useful for your application compilation here you can see that okay i i need to include the dlls called uh, whatever dlls i need to include and uh, as I mentioned that zip and pyqt these are our uh, UI libraries which we use to create our interface so that's why we will include that also and when it, you can see the windows here and here in the script you need to provide in this dictionary actually you need to provide script is the main script which is responsible for uh, start your application so in our case calculator.py is our main file so that's why i added calculator.py here and if you want to add any uh, icon for your application then you can provide the icon resources and in 
I actually have this small icon file which I downloaded from Google this is just for demonstration purpose so this is the calculator dot I icon file which I have and also you can add some sort of corporate information if you have anything now let's see here so uh, now let's execute this build exe so once you execute that you can see there are a bunch of things which will be going on and after that you can see there is some two folders created one is build and one is test so directly go to the dist this is for distribution and you can see there is two files there one is uh, calculator.exe one is w9x or blah 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 so you just delete that file you don't need anymore and you have uh, calculator.exe here and also built you don't want because this is the temporary file which is created for py2exe and after that there is no requirement for that so basically go to the uh, disk and you can just click and you have your application ready you can easily distribute that to anyone you can just pass this exe that will be to install the python to run this calculator so this is it for this tutorial i hope you understand a bit of uh, things like how python and q2 works together and how you can create the uh, applications so definitely uh, in uh, next coming series i will i will explain more about the things like complicated things which is related to the python and application development and so yeah this is it for this series and don't forget to subscribe this channel please subscribe and like this video okay i'll see you in my next series of tutorials goodbye friends